We welcome to the show Eddie Grant. How's it going? Wonderful. It's been a great week of interviews and television programs and what have you. It's very nice. Nice being back. And the weather's been very clement. Oh, so, so you're over here at the moment then? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very nice today, isn't it? Oh, absolutely beautiful. You've brought the weather with you, probably. Oh, uh, for sure. So, he was recently inducted into the Walk of Fame in Camden Town in London, and on the 7th of September, you will have a paving stone laid in your honour. Was you surprised, and are you honoured uh, about the award? I, I was obviously surprised because I'm not living my life expecting... Uh, these things to happen. Um, not that I don't think that I deserve it, because I do. Um, but, you know, there are many people making music in the world, millions of them, uh, maybe even billions, some greater than I can ever be. And so, you know, you, 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 if you're a reasonable human being, you do your, what you got to do, and whatever it is that's coming to you comes to you. Yeah. So are you going tomorrow uh, for the oh, ceremony? For sure. I'm going to be there. Um, it's, a, it's a thing for, the, for everybody, including me. And so, yeah, I look forward to seeing some of my fans there. And they're going to have a after event, like a meet and greet. And they can ask me questions and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be lovely. Yeah, it will be. And um, it's 40 years since you released the album Killer on the Rampage. What are your memories of recording that album? Well, um, in a nutshell, I had left England. I had gone to set up home for my family, who was still in uh, London. Um, and, I, of course, to establish a recording studio so that I could make my next album, which was going to be Killer on the Rampage. Um, it was not easy because nobody who had worked on the project had ever built a recording studio before. But the technician, my technician, Frank Agarat, obviously was a very skilled guy, very clever. And the the head of the, the, the team that was doing the building, a guy by the name of Noah Lawrence from Jamaica, he uh, made it all happen there, you know. So I I was going through a rough time because I'd lost all of my songs and my books and my clothes and all the pertinences of, of being alive. I had lost in transit going to uh, Barbados. So I had to write completely new songs um, for this next album. And uh, it, it was not easy, but it was not that hard because I write songs pretty fast when I need to. Other than that, I don't, I don't spend too much time writing songs. Yeah, and of course, Electric Avenue and I Don't Want to Dance are from Killer on the Rampage. Tell us about those songs. They're classics, aren't they? They still get played today. Oh, it's very much so. Uh, the first song that I wrote in Barbados was I Don't Want to Dance. And it was the first song that I recorded uh, on the album, which didn't have a name as yet. And the second song that I wrote was Electric Avenue. Uh, the third song I wrote was War Party. The fourth, fourth song that I wrote was It's All In You. And that's uh, how I intended to release them. Um, but events, world events uh, stopped uh, War Party in the middle of the charts somewhere because it got banned from being played along with people like Dylan and Bob Marley and so on, we got banned. We didn't see the, the maximum from those songs. But obviously, uh, War Party is a great favorite when I play live. 
and so it's 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 a hit to me yeah and i guess out of all your songs which is the song that people respond to the most do you think that they sing along to i would have to say i don't want to dance with, with all that i mean i don't want to dance was not a hit it was i don't think it was even released in america because they wouldn't stop playing Electric Avenue. Till today, the Electric Avenue has appeared in more films, I reckon, than most songs. More, more uh, situations, more ads. Yeah, a lot so, of TV ads I've noticed. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, it, it because it's a it's a song that that there's not another song like it. With all due respect to other writers. It, it's, it, it conjures up so many things that uh, its use is very wide and very broad. Yeah, I love the beat in Electric Avenue. I yeah. think that's one of the great things about it. Yes, indeed. And as part of the 40th anniversary celebration, Killer on the Rampage will be reissued in November via your streaming channels. Is that one of the favorite albums that you've recorded? I suppose you've got many, haven't you? But... Well, uh, they tell me that I've recorded 15 albums, but let me tell you, I've been on more records than m most musicians. I've played on all kinds of genres and whatever, but the Eddie Grant albums, they say uh, it's 15 that I've recorded. And each one of them, because most people don't necessarily know all of my works, all of my recordings, my songs, etc. For example, most people didn't know that I wrote Police on My Back, which The Clash had on their Sandinista, great Sandinista album. A lot of people don't know that I wrote Walking on Sunshine, that... Uh, um, the Tree and the Waves? Uh, no, Arthur Baker did with uh, with um, Rocker's Revenge. Oh, okay. And Catherine and the Ways copy that. You know, it, it's uh, it's one of the 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 big dance records that I've had. You know, there are odd things, calypso things, reggae things that I've written and that have been very successful as well. So, yeah, I across the board is where I live with my music. Yeah, and I spoke to you, um, I think it was last year or the year before, it was about your album Polisson, if I said that correctly. How do you say it? It's where you're from, isn't it? Plaisance. Plaisance, that's it, yeah. Uh, and I was talking about your music and... I was saying about, I was saying I would put you in the genre of reggae and you said, oh, well, I don't like to be put in a box. And you said, oh, not yet. And I found that very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fact. That is a fact. You know, people try to conveniently box you, you know. But yeah. No, I, I'm about music and I record whatever takes my fancy. Um, and... Some people take umbrage at that. I don't know why, because they don't take umbrage when uh, Paul Simon decides to record something that's off the beam a bit. Or, you know, I, I, I'm here in very much the same way. Um, I'm a little younger than Paul, but at the end of the day, we're in the same game, you know. I write a song, if it's a good song, it's great. If it's not, well, too bad. Same for him. Yeah, I, I think you write a lot of catchy songs, you know, obviously, Electric Avenue, I Don't Want to Dance, and also Give Me Hope, Joanna, that was another great one. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But that's, 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 a, well, you know, I don't sit there all day thinking about my songs, you know, but yeah, that was a very special song. And, uh, you know, while we're at it, I might as well say, some people say to me, why did you allow the yogurt company to um, use Gimme Hope Joanna as a, 
promotional tool. And I said, and I keep on saying, that it was uh, a long time ago that these songs were recorded and generations have come along that didn't know them. In the case of Gimme Hope Joanna, it was during the time of apartheid. Today, kids of five and six, have, they've gotten to know that song because of the yogurt advert. Mm. Gimme Hope, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. There's a lot of songs like that, actually. You think of like um, Jimmy Cliff's Vietnam, that song. Now, today, if obviously you didn't know about the conflict back then, it, it could just be a great song that you love. Well, it is. It, Jimmy's done a lot of good work um, as a writer, as an artist, and I respect him a lot, and he's a good friend. Um, and, yeah, and it's only right and fitting that he should stand where he stands in, in the world of music. And are you planning on doing a new album soon or maybe some singles? I've already come to the conclusion of my next album, uh, which because of the issue with the Killer on the Rampage, um, I've had to hold back on, on that. But I... I like I read, I record. I spend a lot of time making music and that ain't gonna stop. Right. Well, it's what, it's what you love to do. It's what you're born to do, isn't it, really? Correct, correct. And um, so with the new album, have you recorded some of the songs or planning stages? Oh, no, I, I've, I've finished the next album. Oh, you finished it, but you're holding oh, yeah. it back. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, okay. after... After Pleasance, I continue straight on making the the next album because it's it's meant to be like a, a trilogy. Mm. Uh, Pleasance is where I come from. Uh, the next album is going to be named after uh, one of our great rivers, which is where I now uh, have a home. And the one after that, well, God knows where. Uh, it's uh, it, but that, even that is in the works because songs come in a crazy way. They come, you know, you're driving and it suddenly comes. You're cutting the grass and it suddenly comes. You know, and so therefore, I'm always in a state of readiness to accept those gifts and uh, to make those records. Yeah, and a couple of those songs from that album have got a good, very good response on my show. Um, is Carol King here? Oh. And also, and also um, Down the Road Again. They're the two that right. people seem to latch on to. Correct. Well, thank you, people, very much for me because uh, those are songs that I love. I mean, I love all my songs, but from that particular album, Is Carol King here? Uh, conjures up a lot of things because the album was made as a as a, like a soundtrack for a, uh, a stage play or a movie or whatever it is and I, that's how I, I I saw it in my head and Carol King wrote a lot of songs that a lot of people don't know uh, were done by a lot of the black acts in in the States and also a lot of the white acts, but she was behind a lot of great records and it was only a question of time before she came out and got that massive success with Tapestry and so on. So it's a, it's a great um, way to say thank you, Carol King. Yeah, one of the best albums of all time, really. Sure enough, sure enough. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, Eddie, and good luck tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be a fantastic day as you're inducted into the Walk of Fame in Camden Town. Thank you very much.